Guys, welcome back to another video. We have a new underwater drone to test out today, the Dory Explore. As you can see, it's got a big probe on the front of it. That is a metal detector. I'll test it out. It's not optimal conditions here. Got to remember, Great Britain, it is winter right now. We've had back-to-back -back storms, so visibility won't be perfect. But this is a first look. I'll do a proper review video and take it out in four or five different locations and get some real footage. Let's just jump straight into what's in the box and what you get. Okay, so this is basically what you get in the box. As always, comes nicely, neatly packaged. You've got the underwater drone itself. Now this is capable of 15 meters, whereas if you're looking for more depth than that, then I'd look at the Mini S series, which can do 100 meters, I believe. You've got a nice cable reel for keeping the cables tidy. A controller, this here is the buoy. So we plug the cable into this, and this is what sends the signal back to the drone via the cable, the tether. The difference with this drone is it comes with a treasure hunting uh, metal detector, just a little nine volt battery powered probe, but we'll test it out. And obviously this clicks onto the end and this is for scooping up treasure. The payload on this isn't overly large, probably take like a GoPro camera or something like that. And that just clips on the front. I have unscrewed this from the drone, as you can see underneath. That's where it goes on, like so, just because I want to try it without that first, and then the controller. It is a treasure hunting-esque drone, apparently. Judging by what I know about metal detectors, etc., that it's more of a hobbyist thing, more of a bit of fun. This is not a serious treasure hunting piece of equipment. The drone itself, like I said, 15 meters capability. It's got a 200 lumen lights on the front and uh, a camera which can film up to 1080p so this is not a 4k camera it can go forward backwards up or down and it can tilt like that there is no sideways movements so you have to steer it round this is not going to be as powerful as the mini s or the m2 generation drones so you really need to be using something like this in still conditions. The controller itself, pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it, to be honest with you, is that it's micro USB rechargeable. Everything should be USB-C, in my opinion. So dimensions of it, it weighs 1.1 kilos. All this went into my backpack, super easy. Video format as MP4. Runtime, you can leave it sort of uh, on standby for about three or four hours, but once you're diving, around about 35, 40 minutes, and I have done at least that today so far it's got a depth and a temperature sensor simple setup guys we just plug one end of the tether into the buoy run that nice and tight obviously this can go in the water but today i'm not going to do that the reel just unfolds like so stupid super, super simple and then you plug the other end in the drone let's have a look there you go you can see it's turned on there's those two 200 lumen led lights there's the camera lens it's got five thrusters, so let's get this nice and tight. Okay. Now, you will need a smartphone to connect, so we'll do that now. Uh, super simple, you just connect to a Wi-Fi network called Dory. Yours may be different, so connect to it. The password, by the way, is 12345678 if you lose your manual. Then once you've done that, we turn the controller on. This Bluetoothly connects, and then we open an app called Chase and Go 2. There we go, it's asking for a Bluetooth connection. We connect, click start. You can see me in the camera from the device. Okay, let's deploy it into the water and see if it's any good or not. Just unravel a cable. There you go, super simple. Now these have to be tethered because uh, underwater Wi-Fi connections don't really work. So that's why there's a tether. And from my experience, once you put it in the water, you can lose where it's at, so it's very handy especially off a boat. So I'm doing it off a pier here. In future videos, we'll do it off kayaks and boats, etc. Once you've unraveled the cable, you can actually pull it all the way through. Conditions today, about an hour from low tide. So I've seen lots of fishing here before, but it is winter, so we'll have to see. Right, well, I'm happy with that. Okay, so on the screen itself, it tells you the depth and the current temperature. I don't think it's 14.3 degrees Celsius right now, though. I'll be honest. Right, let's drop her in. We unlock it, and that's when it starts diving. Okay, so you notice there's a logo on the bottom left there. I'm not sure if you can turn that off. This is what you see from the controller view. This is a screen recording. On the right, you can tilt it up. Controller is quite easy to use, I have to say. 
no dramas there, but it is a lot slower than what I'm used to. As you can see, visibility is not perfect, but it's cruising through the water. I do hope you can turn that logo off on the bottom corner because that's not really something I would want on my footage. Yep, I did purposely sit it in some seaweed, see if it got the motors stuck. It was all fine, actually. You can see the temperature on the screen there. Okay, back cruising through the currents. It's only 15 metres, remember, but when you're going horizontally, you actually lose depth. We're probably about three metres deep here. But cruising round, no problem. Again, not a lot to see down there. No fish. It is the depths of winter. Normally, I'd expect to see some mackerel or something down there, but nothing good colors straight out the camera you'll notice on the right hand side there we're in high mode that's just the motor mode low it wasn't really penetrating okay so there she is all out of the water um we're gonna go and put the pointer on and hopefully if i've got enough water i'll go down to the other end of the harbor where these builders aren't working and uh should be a little bit better not much to see in there today Visibility not ideal. We're going to test it lots more. This is just a first look video, so let's go that way to the slip and we'll see what it's like. Quite easy to use so far. It's definitely not got the propulsion that their Mini has. The Mini S used to fly through the water. This thing seems to be a little bit slower. It is smaller, smaller batteries, smaller thrusters. Let's get over there and continue the exploration. What a beautiful place Laxi is. Look at that. Even in winter. Tide's quite low here, but Hopefully I can get in amongst all this kelp and have a little look. The content creator struggles right here, trying to fly the drone and the underwater submarine at the same time for that shot. Sometimes you just got to be doing, hasn't it? So yeah, it's quite shallow water here towards the end of the day, just patrolling through. Didn't get caught in any of the kelp or seaweed. Um, that's no colour grade and uh, just tilt the camera up, just have a look at the surface of the water. Again, quite dark, I did have the lights on, but happy enough with the conditions and the footage coming straight out of the camera. The time has come, let's try out the metal detecting probe. Just turn that on till it's on. Is that on? Yep, see the LED light going, that should be visible from the camera due to the way it's mounted. So, see it's the screwdriver. Battery is in the end here, all screwed in. All we have to do is use these four Phillips head screws to screw to the bottom of the drone, which I shall do now. You can probably uh, just take this off actually, but mine came like this, so I'll just try it for now. That's what it looks like on. It's not going anywhere. And then this, which is the uh, treasure collect will mount onto the device we might as well do that now let's have a look shall we they just go on like so and then you just roll it over the top here so this is the metal detector probe on the end here with the payload for essentially scooping up how actual good that is in practicality i do not know but let's have a look see here should be visible from the camera let's have a look can you see an led light flashing from the camera yes so you will see if you're anywhere near it in the water pretty cool bit of kit like I say i think that's more a bit of a fun innovation rather than a serious treasure hunting piece of equipment let's drop it in see what it's like in the water shall we Your engines right, let's power her up wow the visibility really has gone pretty poor yeah with the net and the probe on it definitely turned it from a small family car to an articulated lorry for steering around um, didn't get snagged in anything though which was a bonus but definitely slowed down the ability to move forward through the water i had it in high mode i think if you had it in low mode in this setting it probably wouldn't move anywhere but i can see the appeal and i think in better conditions in summer this could be a lot of so first impressions with the net here on and the uh, probe it seems to struggle a little bit more to move. It's not as nimble as you'd expect. The amount of drag it's getting from the front end here, it really did struggle to turn, but we are in really shallow water here. So I think that is also a factor. I think the net probably gives more drag than the probe. So let's take the net off and try it just on the probe alone. Yeah, pretty cool. 
Shame the visibility is not great in here. Oh, let's put the lights on. That will always help. Let's see how it does with the metal of my watch, if I can find a way of uh, doing this. I'm not entirely sure what happened here, but when I uh, put the watch down, I did actually see it flash on the camera, but for whatever reason on the screen record and the actual um, footage taken off, you can't see the LED flashing. I don't know if that's just the lighting that it was in, but it did trigger. Well, I've used it off the pier and I've used it off the inner harbour here now, all on one battery charge. So I'm quite impressed with the battery. Um, connectivity, really good, never lost connectivity. Uh, I have major connectivity issues with the Mini S uh, generation, same company, but not with this one. So, so far, so good. With it being smaller, smaller motors, etc., definitely not as capable in currents. Uh, it was getting rocked around a little bit, but still plenty usable it's definitely slower as well i had it in high mode the entire time uh, my thoughts with the metal detector on good bit of fun i've not really taken it anywhere that i can really test it to be honest and you really have to be up close it's just a bit of fun the metal detector good fun with the kids or whatever uh, if you wanted to set something up for them to go and look but if you're a serious uh, metal detecting enthusiast you might find a mine with it but you'll probably set it off before this thing lets you know uh, with the net on the front, I don't know how easy that would be to use in practice. It certainly affected the steerability of the drone, but to play devil's advocate, had quite low water here, and that does give it a bit of a vortex above it. So, like I say, we'll give it a good test properly. Uh, taking the footage off, it's quite easy. You just use the app um, straight to your mobile phone, MP4 format. So if you want to bang it straight on social media, it's no problem whatsoever. It's got a LiPo battery, charged pretty quick. Yeah, I'm quite impressed. Just make sure, guys, if you do have anything like this, you flush it in fresh water immediately after you use it and pick out any seaweed. One thing I do like about it, which I forgot to mention, is that I did drive it sort of, as you can see down here, as the tide's gone out, I was driving it quite close to all this kelpie seaweed and its bigger brother, the Mini, the Mini S, would have got stuck. Uh, the motors are a little bit more exposed, whereas this due to its sort of compact nature, had no problems whatsoever. Drop a comment below what you'd like to see me use it with next, whether it's on the boat, from the kayak, or just in a better location, somewhere like Port Aaron Bay, where we have lots of marine life, could be quite useful. Just a quick video today. Have a great day, everybody. See you now.